Boom, let's talk about it. So you did everything that I told you to do in the last video. You created that design, you put the design on the mock-up, you even messaged the manufacturer to get that sample made, and now you're ready to drop your product. But guess what? You don't know how to market your brand. So in this video, I'll be giving you my personal, the personal marketing strategy that I use for my clothing brand in 2023. Yo, my name is D. I'm an 18 year old entrepreneur and clothing brand owner. I started my brand about June this year. And since then I have been able to scale, uh, let me unlock my phone. And since then I have been able to scale up to 13K a month. So if anybody can teach you about owning a clothing brand, it could possibly be me. Hey, so today I got a treat for y'all. I'm not about to give y'all the same basic clothing brand marketing tips. I'm about to give y'all my actual, the strategies that I use to sell out on these clothes, sell out on those clothes, the strategies that I use to market my actual clothing brand in 2023. Just so y'all don't think that I'm just a random clothing brand owner talking about stuff that I don't know about, you can see the proof in the pudding right here in the inventory. But today is what, April 4th? I'm recording this video on April 4th. I don't know when, I, when I'm gonna release it, but just this month, I've made $5,000 in clothing brand sales. So yeah, we finna get into the game, man. Get your phone out, get your notes out, get your pen and your pad out. Whatever you wanna get out, you need to take down these strategy and these tips that I'm about to give you. So let's go ahead and dive into it. The first thing we're gonna dive into is the app TikTok. I looked at my Shopify analytics the other day and I found out that 80%, 80% of my customers come from TikTok and I have accumulated more than 50,000 followers on that app. So I'm about to give y'all my personal strategy that I use to gain customer and gain traction to my brand from TikTok. The first thing I would say is you have to be consistent on TikTok. TikTok is more than an app that when you post stuff, it just automatically boosts it. TikTok is an algorithm. It's an algorithm. It all works in system and systematic ways. So to get your content out and to get your content promoted, you have to remain consistent. So this is what you can do. Go on your phone, write Monday through Saturday and create you a content calendar of videos that you're gonna post on each of those days. So there's no excuse for when that day comes why you aren't posting. If you wanna boost your account a little bit more in the algorithm, post two to three times a day because TikTok awards users who are active on their platform. Another thing you need to do when you're posting on TikTok is use relevant sounds for your niche. If you are in the underground niche, you need to be using Playboy Cardi. You need to be using Ken Carson. You don't need to be using Drake because that isn't going to hit your market because your market isn't watching videos about Drake. They're watching videos about the underground scene. So use sounds that are relevant to your niche and relevant to your brand. Of course, you can go ahead and throw in some trendy sounds, some sounds that everybody else is using, but try to stick to your brand sounds that work for your niche. Another thing that's pretty important when posting on TikTok is hashtags. You cannot just throw in a random hashtags and expect your post to be boosted to the algorithm. There's a couple of hashtags that actually work for a lot of brand owners. I'm about to give them to you. Go ahead and get your pen out, get your pad out and write them down. The number one hashtag that I use is fashion TikTok. That hashtag has boosted my posts a lot. Of course, you gotta use hashtag clothing brand, hashtag clothing brand owner, and a few other hashtags that work for your brand. Sometimes I like to use fit of the day, fit of the week and stuff like that. And of course, using that for you page and that viral hashtag will also work out for you. I would encourage you to stay off the trends, bro. Stay off the trends. Everybody used to do the slide shows. Everybody used to do, oh, putting Kassan in my brand. Now everybody is doing the, I can't remember the brand's name, but everybody is following the same marketing scheme as what, Trico, and it's been called the Trico effect. So bro, do not follow the trends. Create some original content. Pick your camera up and shoot something new. Shoot something that nobody has seen before. That way TikTok will promote that and people will actually resonate with your content. So let's say you were doing all that, you was grinding out that content, you was using the right hashtags and the right sounds, but still your videos get stuck at 200 views. I'm about to put y'all on game and I just need y'all to lock in and listen up. This is what I call A and B testing. You're basically testing out two different strategies for the same app. So this is what you do. You go on TikTok, create a piece of content. Use the same sound, use the same content, but switch out the hashtags. Post the content at the exact same time and see which content does the best. See which content gets the most engagement and gets the most views and stuff like that. Once you figure that out, you wanna use that same set of hashtags for every single video that you post after that. If the results still aren't good and they still aren't flourishing, then it's time to switch up the hashtags, it's time to switch up the content, and it's time to switch up the music. That means that stuff is just not working for you because TikTok made the algorithm to boost content. So if your content isn't being boosted, it means there's something wrong with it. Another thing you can do to make sure that your content actually gets promoted and boosted is when you post a video, look at the top. 
Look at the top right there. It usually says something. If that says find related content, that means that TikTok does not know what your content is about. Therefore, they don't know who to promote it to. Oh, so make sure that you say something inside the video that gives TikTok the insight of what that video means. Like I said in this video, hey, if you own a clothing brand, watch this. And the content says clothing brand. But if TikTok doesn't know what the content is about, they can't promote it to that group of people that you want to promote it to. That was my quick ramble on TikTok marketing. And I apologize if I overdid it. But basically, post one or three times a day. Use relevant sounds. Use relevant hashtags. And if you're stuck in that 200 view count, do what I just called A and B testing. The next best platform to market your clothing brand on is Instagram. Instagram is a great, 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 great place to market your platform because they have over 3.5 billion users that are looking to shop with clothing brands just like yours. I'm about to give you all two of my own personal strategies to help my clothing brand go from 2,000 followers to 10K plus in two months. The first Instagram strategy you can take advantage of is giveaways. Listen, do not be afraid to give away one single product in exchange for a whole lot of organic promotion. So right now I'm about to tell y'all how to set y'all giveaways up to optimize it in the best way. So get your pen out, get your pad out, get your notes out. You can go ahead and use this as a visual example. Go to my other brand page, us.lovers, and look at the third post. You will see this retro collection thing right here. Go look at that, and that is the giveaway layout that I'm about to give off to you. The first thing that you need to do is have rules so that people can enter. The first rule needs to be that people have to follow your brand. This is automatically gonna get you a lot more followers than people who just comes to check in from time to time. So you will see your following actually grow on that. The next thing you need to do is have people like the post have them like the post if the post gets liked if the post gets a lot of engagement instagram is going to boost that post out to more audiences the third thing you need to do is have them tag a friend once they tag a friend that's more eyes coming to the post and that friend will tag a friend and that friend will tag a friend what i ended up doing on my giveaways was saying hey one tag equals one entry. You can have unlimited entries. You can tag 15 friends. That's 15 entries that you get, you feel me? And those friends are only going to tag more friends. My camera just went dead, but this is the last gem that you need to have for that Instagram giveaway. The last thing you need to tell them to do is share the post on their story, and that equals five entries. So let's just say somebody with a thousand followers shares their Instagram post to their story. After that post is shared, their a thousand followers is going to see it, and who knows, who's gonna come and actually check out your brand page. It's guaranteed you're gonna get at least minimum 10 people to come check it out and join the giveaway also and share that on their story. To me, an Instagram giveaway is a great hack to grow and scale your clothing brand any kind of way because you're just gaining organic traction to that page. They're seeing your other products. They're seeing the product that's about to drop, you feel me? So yes, make sure y'all host them giveaways. So I just gave y'all two strategies that I personally use to market my brand on Instagram. Another thing I do is repurpose my TikTok content and post it on Instagram Reels and just throw in a couple hashtags. That's not really effective for me, but I still use it to promote some of my content. The third way that you can market your clothing brand is SMS and email marketing. A lot of brand owners skip past this step and it is so very important. There are two apps that you can use to do this on Shopify. One app you can use is Postscript or SMS Bump. They have both worked super effectively for me and my brand. My email and SMS list is up to like 5,000 people. So these are all people that I can contact when I'm ready to drop a product. So if you want to clothing brand, you need to go get that SMS list set up. Last but not least, another great way to market your clothing brand is paid ads. I wish I can give you a lot of information about them, tell you how to set them up and optimize them. But truly and honestly, I really don't know how. A few months ago when I was ready to start my brand, I tried to run some ads, but they really didn't do well. So I looked into hiring a team. And that's when I discovered this beautiful team right here nicest marketing they have helped skyrocket my brand sales since day one they run all my tiktok and all my instagram ads so hey if you aren't a professional and you don't know how to run ads do not waste your money do not waste your time go and hire a team also if you're just starting they can create your website they can create your logo they can do spinning animations they can even create some content and manage their social media profiles for you so hey if you own a clothing brand and you need some help marketing hit up that team right there Hey man, so I just gave y'all four ways to market your clothing brand in 2023 that can help y'all scale y'all brand to over $10,000 in a single month. If you like the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.